hi everybody. It's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone's doing well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Oh, Leo. It's time for your second half of May reading. I apologize for the delay. It's been a crazy couple of days. But we're here now. We're going to get it done. So, this reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of May 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. You're free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's general. It's not going to resonate with every Leo. Just keep in mind that time and energy are both full and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. You guys are welcome here too. Come on in. Have a seat. If you feel so inclined or compelled, I think it might give you a little bit more information. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. Feel free to hit the like button if you like what you see. If you want to see more, hit the notification bell after you hit the subscribe button. And if you think a friend might benefit from it, go ahead and hit the share. Maybe they'll enjoy it too. Okay, Leo, let's get your cards on the table. Leo, why are you here? Star card could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Wishes are finally being fulfilled. You're healing from something. Positive energy is flowing. Life is beautiful. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not often rendered speechless, but it just happened. I'm Big Mama Sage. I always got something to say. Okay. Give me a second. Just give me a second. Leo. How you feel about the person you're dealing with, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Perhaps you feel like they're a little bit codependent. Maybe they rely on you a little bit too much. What you think of them, the Empress? You think they are the end all be all. There's potential for growth with this. This could possibly be someone that you have child with. It doesn't have to be. But you definitely think that this could grow. This could evolve into something more. you want from them is the Knight of Cups. You want you want those little messages. You, you want them to express their feelings and how they feel. You, you want the expressions of love. How they feel about you. Justice. You're fair. You're honest. You're balanced. Things are equal they think of you, the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Throw a clarifier on that. I'm hearing impulsive and does things without thinking, but again, I'm going to have to throw a clarifier on that. I'm hearing not putting thought into it. Not thinking. Not thinking. They want from you is the Ten of Cups reversed. Again, you gotta throw a clarifier on that. They may not want the happy ending with you. They may be looking for something else. The obstacle here is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Something's ground to a halt. It's not just slow moving, it's not moving. Nothing. 
no offers, no apologies, nothing. What needs to be done, the Six of Cups, there's a connection here. This is deep-rooted. There's memories here. Projected outcome, Seven of Wands. Someone taking control of the situation. All right. I'll clarify with the everyday witch. I haven't clarified with this one yet. Okay. See what just happened there? Lost one on the shuffle. If I lose one on the shuffle. Guess where it goes? Because it wanted to talk, apparently. The universe made that happen, I guess. King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's a little attitudinal. A little quick to speak. Not putting a lot of thought into what they say, possibly. Maybe, maybe losing control of their emotions a little bit. Not having a handle on it. Okay. Try that again. I'm ignoring text messages and phone calls today. I'll look at that when I'm done. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? Hold that thought. Yup! This damn chair, I swear. Okay, well. Thought maybe I dropped a second card. I didn't feel quite right, but it's whatever. Where were we? My hair is being a little unruly today. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? Nine of Cups in the upright. You feel like they're needy and they rely on you for their emotional well being. Wow. Why is the Empress here? Double reversed. <clears throat> There's room for growth. This this has potential double reverse you think they're disconnecting <sighs> I 
am hearing sexual. The sexual energy possibly isn't as strong as you would like it to be. They rely on you for emotional well-being, but that's about it then. Okay, Leo. Can I throw another card? No, I'm throwing another card on that. Because that makes no sense. Too many. Seven of Swords reversed. They're a little out of control. Or they're very easy to control, possibly very easy to manipulate. Haircut reversed. I, I need you when I need a hug or when I tol I'm told that things are going to be okay. I don't need you for anything else. I, I don't want it to be anything more. Wow, Leo, what are you dealing with? Okay, why is the Knight of Cups here? I, I don't want this to be a controlling situation. I... I I don't want this to become toxic. I don't want this to be a thing. Sometimes I just need a hug. Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. You want to know how they honestly feel. You want the messages to come back to you. You want truth. You want honesty. Even if it's cold, you want honesty. And you want the package. You want the dream with them. You want this to grow. I think in a weird way, you want them to need you. Okay. Why is justice here? Whoa, okay. Knight of Swords reversed. Death in the upright. This one talked. Flipped over and flipped around. I'm going to take it. Four of Cups reversed. And this is how they feel about you. You ignore them. You don't talk, you don't speak your mind. You're fair and you're honest. You're balanced in a sense, but you don't speak your mind. You ign it's like they feel like they, they feel like you ignore the things that you try to do for them. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with with this death card. Very strange. Okay, why is the Eight of Swords here? Sorry. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here? King of Wands.
Oh my. Ace of Cups. You think you're not thinking it through. You're all about something, something. It's passion and... Something, something. Sexual energy. You're mirroring each other a little bit here, Leo. You think they're not all about it, and they think that's all you want. They think that you equate sex with love, and you're not seeing the bigger picture. That's that's what they think. Five of Swords Reverse popped out. And they, they don't see you changing the way you... the way you see things. They don't see you changing your thought process. You're closed off to that. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here? Four of Wands reversed. Oh boy. The Hanged Man and the Eight of Pentacles. The Hanged Man in the reversed, Eight of Pentacles in the upright. <sighs> they don't want this to go any farther than it has. They don't want the fairy tale with you. They just soon shut the door. They're emotionally stuck with something else. They're stuck somewhere else. They're, they're still in the process of doing a lot of inner work, working on themselves. And they think more work needs to be done, at the very least, before this connection is going to go anywhere. You're not seeing eye to eye on a lot of things here, Leo. You're just not. A very big, obvious one right up here. Your thought process. You're not really vibing on the same page here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here for the challenge? Tell me something a little bit more. Way too many. Way too many. Tell me something a little bit more with a card or two other than ground to a halt. Justice reversed. Things aren't fair. Things aren't equal. They feel like you're a fair person, but they don't think the situation is very fair. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Someone... Someone's a little needy. I'm also hearing disingenuous and petty. Petty differences. Okay, you can talk. The tower. This is like, okay, this is the third time this popped out. And I just shoved it back in because it was with like 20 other cards. But it popped out. Someone is seeing this as a disaster waiting to happen. There's too many petty differences. A big one being right here. And another big one being right there. For this to work.
Why is the Six of Cups here for what can be done? Six of Cups is a card of deep lifetime after lifetime soulmate connection. You might have known each other from childhood. You may have known each other for a few lifetimes. So what needs to be done here? Let's find out. Why is Six of Cups here? Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Moon all flow out in the reverse. Things need to be illuminated. The fog needs to lift from this. Things need to be equal. And somebody needs to put more thought into this. Not like, you know, make a steel cage out of the swords, think of it, but just a little more thought. One more. Six of Swords reversed. Somebody needs to rein it back in and come back to a place where an honest conversation can happen. You guys may already be in separation. And, and not even physically, but mentally, somebody's already left. So somebody needs to return to this mentally with honesty and truth and to level the playing field and to put communication and thought into it before this could make any kind of a turnaround. Wow, Leo. Whoa. It's just it's just a weird energy thing going on right now. Alright, why is the seven of wands up right here? I know I tell you guys every time one or two cards and there's like two decks on the table by the time I'm done. I know. I know. Yes, I'm not done yet. King of Pentacles. Okay. One more. Somebody needs to take control of the situation. Stability needs to be restored to the situation. Page of Swords. Communication needs to happen. Honest communication. So, once somebody can put their money where their mouth is, and y'all can communicate honestly, somebody reins it in, I think, I think this could be like sunshine and roses, but right now, I mean, I know Leos. I was married to one for six and a half years. I dated a, quite a few, I don't know, I always ended up with Leos, I don't know why, throughout the years. It was fixed energy. Mostly Leos. I know how y'all roll. I have seen it before. I have lived it. I have experienced it. I am not pointing fingers when I say this. If you don't pet the Leo right, rrr. you will lose a head. Y'all get a little atti attitudinal when y'all don't get pet right. And I think you're dealing with somebody that doesn't know how to pet you. But at the same time, Leo, you need to rein it in a little. It's not always about a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? There's more to a relationship than a little something, something. And I think this is what they're trying to get at over here. You 
you aren't seeing, and this could be vice versa. I'm not trying to point fingers. Apparently, they feel like you don't see what else you try to do. They try to do for you. You don't see it. At least that's how they feel. And they think you're all about wanting that one little something, something. And you're not going to change. And that's not what they're all about. So they're like, okay, why? 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 Mm. I think we all just sat down. Cleared the air a little bit. This doesn't have to be a disaster waiting to happen. It doesn't have to go down that road, y'all. It really doesn't. It does not have to happen the way the cards say it's going to happen. Okay, yes. The moon and the ten of pentacles. You can get to the dream. The big brick house with the pool and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the white picket fence and the great big backyard. And, you you know, sit and hold hands and drink tea and watch the sunset and watch the grandkids run around the yard in 20 or 30 years. You know, you can get there. But the haze of bullshit needs to be lifted. You, you have to communicate if you want to get there. And you got to come to the understanding it's not going to happen with every person you date. There is one out there. Ace of Pentacles and the Hermit. Go inside. A lot of this is a lot of self-reflection. It really is. I mean, you've been handed the first pentacle of abundance here. You have. This is the first pentacle of ten. Th this is the, like, the toddler teeter-totter barely getting your footing start down the road of abundance and awesome. But you, you gotta do a little self-reflection here. And I know asking a Leo to change <laughs> you're fixed fire you are set in your ways you are going to do your thing and you do not care and I get it because I lived with one for six and a half years I get it and I see think he has come a long way it took a lot of self reflection he has come a long way and I love that man to pieces will I ever marry him again probably not He's not quite there enough for Big Mama Sad yet. There's neither here nor there. This is going to take some self-reflection. What do I need to do to make this work? How bad do I want this? That's what you got to ask yourself. And, and I understand you shouldn't have to change. If someone, you know, either accepts you as you are, or that's it. But if you have these strong feelings like you say you do... What you think you do. And if you see them as the empress and you want to be the emperor, what do you have to do to be the emperor? Alright, the Ten of Wands in the upright, the Ten of Swords in the reverse. A burden has to be released, or the sun will not shine again. That burden is getting how you feel and what you think off your chest. The burden is having that honest conversation. You have to move forward and close the cycle out. Because right now this is, this is just a tiff cycle. This is a... <laughs> we're not getting along. What do we need to do to get along? The sun will shine again, but y'all gotta like lay your weapons down and stop fighting. Stop having... The little spats. Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups. It's messages of love. Again, lay the weapons down and try having little messages of love. Spread love. Share love. 
Yeah, the Knight of Cups has a tendency to be non-committal, but I'm not seeing him as non-committal here. There's a Six of Cups in the middle of this table. That's a powerful Six of Cups. I think you guys love each other very deeply. And you need to remember that. And this is salvageable, but you need to remember why you love each other so much. Okay, Leo, this is what I have for you for the second half of May. Let me know if it resonates. Um, anyone in need of a personal reading? I am available for that. $15 for one question, $10 for each additional question. Caps out at 50 bucks. Hit me up. Let me know. We'll talk. See if there's anything that the cards can do for you. All right. This has been a trip, let me tell you. Love you guys to bits. Talk soon.